you've been British, you you know well the vampire tradition of Christopher Lee, of Peter Cushing, all the Hammer movies. Mm -hmm. Was was there, a, or even David Bowie, was there a past vampire that you looked up to to do your character? Um, I mean, I remember when I was doing the first one, the one movie I was really looking at was Nosferatu, mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to get the, I, I, because the book was written to make him, to make Edward seem so uh, attractive, basically. Mm -hmm. I wanted to find like, what are, what are, what's the worst way you can possibly <laughs> play a, a vampire? Mm -hmm. And um, God, I've forgotten what his name is. There was the actor who, who played it, um, Klaus Kinski. Oh, Klaus Kinski. Yeah. And I think he did something Sorry. kind of, you know, there was something so alien about his performance. I mean, I really liked it. For my generation, he was known as Nastasia Kinski's father. <laughs> uh, you now that I know you've answered uh, similar questions before, but now that the saga is about to end, do you feel more like, well, now I can go on with my life and do, and do normal movies, not a mega phenomenon like this, or more like, God, I'll miss being part of something so big? Yeah, I mean, there's bits and pieces. I mean, you kind of. It's it's definitely a job when something gets really this big, because it feels like half half of your involvement with the with the uh, the series is um, promoting it and and mm -hmm. kind of you know doing that aspect of it rather than just making the movie. And also, it's weird as well when they just they seem like they exist independently to you. I mean, it's not like I'm saying like this is my movie, go and watch it. I mean, yeah. it's kind of it's. It's in a lot of ways owned by the fans of it, and uh, um, you know, there's kind of there's a separation between it. Whereas when you if you do a little movie, which no one's going to see unless you really sell it, mm -hmm. it's a whole it's a different energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think you guys have wrapped in almost two years now? Mm -hmm. Do you think, and you're still promoting it? The, the movie hasn't come out yet. Do you mm -hmm. think, in a way, the saga won't go away? Um, I don't know. I'm curious to see. I mean, I remember when I was doing the second one, I was thinking it's going to be 10 years before it kind of settles. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's four years into that into that 10 years now. Um, but I mean, you can look at big things that have happened in the past, like Titanic. I mean, yeah. like, DiCaprio's done so many movies, huge, huge movies. <laughs> it was not a franchise, though. Yeah, that was just one. Yeah, yeah I mean, was a bit, it down? yeah, and, <laughs> and when was how, how long ago was that? That was like 14, 15 years ago. Yes, yeah. And like, still like every I've seen, seen him do yeah. interviews now. Every every interview, still doing. <laughs> there's something mentioning Titanic, but uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's it's crazy when something really really connects to a lot of people at the same time. I mean, people don't forget. Where, where do you see career going now? More in the way of Cosmopolis, Cronenberg, or more in the way of Twilight, uh, mega things. I mean, it, it depends. I mean, it's it's quite difficult for me to find a big like a, a, well, it's, it's difficult for anybody to find a movie mm -hmm. the size of the size of Twilight. Um, and uh, lots of big movies don't really appeal to me. I mean, because I didn't really I didn't always want to be an actor, so I don't want to do I don't want to act in anything. I mean. I want to be in the movies that I would buy before I started acting. Um, so it's generally, there's there's about thirty directors who I want to work with, and and I don't know, and then new like I want to kind of do things which are which are dangerous and cutting edge. One last question about football. Mm -hmm. I, I take you're an Arsenal fan. I used used to be more of one. <laughs> the Brazilian team, very popular one that had never made it. Uh -huh. It's called Corinthians, an English yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. And they'll play Chelsea, which is a rival of Arsenal. If yeah. you watch the game, who will you root for? Oh, Corinthians, definitely. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Arsenal fan. <laughs> <laughs>